Coin. Hey there, YouTube Coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp, and today we are going to take a look at five Lincoln Cent double dies from the 1960s and the 1970s, all of which you can find in pocket change and all of which carries nice, nice value. So let's dive right on in. Okay, today we are going to take a look at five 1960s and 1970s double dies. Now, these are all really popular double dies that we're going to take a look at. So if you were to be over here on PCGS's price guide and you were to be on Lincoln Cent Modern Price Guide, all of the coins that I'm going to talk about, you can find values for it right here in the PCGS price guide. And we are going to start this off by taking a look at the 1960 Denver Mint that is listed as FS101. This is the small date over large date variety. This is a double die obverse, and it also features a very extreme repunched mint mark. So we're going to take a look at one right here on Heritage. Now, this example that we're taking a look at, this one sold for $805. Um, this one is in an NGC holder, and it was graded MS66 Red by NGC. And we're going to take a very close look at this one. So we are going to zoom right on in, and you're going to want to focus right down here at the date. If you take a look at the date, you can see right here is a very extreme, far spread second D. You can see the remnants of the repunching right there. And then if you look, you've got a small date that is punched over top of a large date. So you can see the remnants of it. Now this right here on the inside of the six, this is actually a die chip. And on early die state examples, you might not find that die chip, but you will see this doubly. So that is the 1960D listed as FS101. As again, this is a repunch mint mark, a very extreme repunch mint mark, and it is also a large date over small date. It's a very beautiful coin. I have found a few of these while coin searching. Now, if you were to find one of these while you are coin searching, there's a picture PCGS has. That's the die chip right there that I was talking about. On early die state examples, you will probably not find that die chip. But anyhow, if you were to find one of these in uncirculated conditions, we'll just start in very fine. They start out at a couple dollars and they go up to right around 20 bucks. Uncirculated, however, you can find them from about $75 all the way up to $1,350. All depends on the condition of the coin. We are gonna move on to the coveted 1969S double die obverse Lincoln cent. This is one of the kings of double dies. This is the double die that most people are very familiar with. This is listed as FS 101. There is another double die for 1969S, but this is the main one that everybody knows and loves. So we are going to take a look at the example that sold for $126,500. This example right here that we are looking at sold in auction for $126,500. Very, very valuable coin. There are less than around 33 known examples, and almost all of them have come from searching pocket change. I know uh, Miss Green, who watches CoinOp on YouTube, she ended up finding one. I did do a video about it. But, uh, this is just an amazing coin. Very, very strong doubling. Uh, we're going to take a look at the date. You can clearly see extreme doubling on the date. Now, if you notice, the mint mark is perfectly fine. There's absolutely no doubling on that mint mark whatsoever. The mint marks were added by hand. So you should not find doubling. If you see doubling on the date, you should not find doubling on the, the uh, mint mark on this one. We're going to come on up. We're going to take a look at trust. Look at how strong that doubling is, that massive spread. You can clearly see the separation between the letters. I love seeing these very strong double dies. They're just very amazing. Look, taking a look at that Liberty, it is just amazing. It is fabulous. This is one that you can actually see with the naked eye. It just looks off. When you come across one of these, 
You can see it with the naked eye. Fabulous double die. Just fantastic. Now, if you were to find one of these, there's PCGS's images of it. If you were to find one of these, these go for huge, huge money. Uh, PCGS lists in an XF35 around $13,000. And then uncirculated, they go for about $45,000 to $126,000. Very, very, very valuable double die. Okay, we are going to take a look at a 1970S double die obverse. This one is the large date. There is a large date and a small date variety for the 1970S. This is on the large date and it is listed as FS 101. We're going to take a look at one right here that I've got pulled up in Heritage. Now the example that we are taking a look at, this one sold for $9,987.50. We're going to zoom on in on this one. Now, if you do take a look at this one, on the date, you'll see that there is doubling on the date. It's just not as strong as what you're going to see on the rest of it. You can see a little notch right here on the 1. You can see splits in the 9. You can see it on the 0. But we're going to scroll on up, and we are going to take a look at the God We Trust. Much stronger up here. You can clearly see it coming out right along here. You can see nice line separation obvious separation between the letters very very strong double die very scarce double die this is a tough one to find i have never been able to find one of these i've only ever seen one of them in person one time i've never been able to locate one of these very beautiful double die i know i would enjoy finding one of these but if you were to come across one of these 1970 double dies well, look at that example pcgs has talk about a monster toner Whew. But if you were to come across one of these uncirculated examples, they start out at around $450 and they go upwards of around $1,000 while that was for circulated examples. I'm sorry. While uncirculated examples, they start out at around $2,000 and they can trade all the way upwards of $32,500 for an example. Now we're going to move on to one that's not quite as valuable, but is still really strong. Really good double die. This is the 1971 double die Averse listed as FS101. We are going to take a look at one of these over here in Heritage. Now, this example that I have pulled up in Heritage, this one sold for $10,350. Now, this double die is not as strong as the ones that we have just seen, but this still is a very strong double die. Now, if you take a look at this one, you can see doubling on the date. You can see separation on the one you can see it on the seven on the nine we're going to take a look up at in god we trust again you can barely see it up here on god we trust you can definitely see it on the e and you can see it much more so on this side of the coin as opposed to the right side but we're going to come down here to liberty and here's where you're really going to see it you can see it right in liberty very nice and strong beautiful double die well there you go but if you were to find one of these there's an example PCGS has that's an AU example if you were to find one of these circulated examples start out at around 35 bucks and trade upwards of around $60 while uncirculated examples they start out at around $240 and can trade upwards of $5,000 $100. Now, the example that we just looked at, I think this one sold for more. This one sold for over 10000 So this one sold for more than double what PCGS has listed. That's pretty cool. Okay, we are going to move on to the 1972 Double Die Averse. Now, do keep in mind, there are a lot of really beautiful Double Dies for the 1972, but we are going to talk about the Type 1, the one that is listed as FS101. This is the double die that most people are familiar with if you bring up a 1972 double die. So let me show you one here in Heritage. Now, this is a very strong double die. This one, in my opinion, rivals the 1969S. It is almost equally as strong. The 1969S is just a little bit stronger. But if you want a very strong, naked eye visible double die, this would be the one that you want. Uh, it's much more affordable and easier to find than that 1969S. 
But this example that we're taking a look at, this one sold in auction for $14,400. We're gonna zoom in on this guy. Now, if you take a look at the date, you can see clear, clear separation on the date. You can see the date is clearly doubled, very strong doubling on the date. If we take a look up at In God We Trust, again, I love seeing this stuff. Again, clear as day line separation. You can see this one with the naked eye. You don't need magnification to see this, although it definitely does help. Definitely helps. And we're gonna take a look down here at Liberty where it is really strong. Just like on the 69S, it is just as strong. But this is just a gorgeous double die. Very beautiful double die. Not as rare as that 1969S. So you can find examples of these for much more affordable pricing if you're looking to buy one. But we're gonna take a look at what PCGS has values listed at this. That's a beautiful example. If my, there we go. There's some of the doubling on one of their examples. Beautiful coin. Okay. Uncirculated examples. Start out at around $50 for a low grade and upwards of about 140 to 150 bucks. While uncirculated examples, they start out at around $310 and can trade upwards of $22,500. That is amazing. So there are five beautiful 1970s and 1960s double dies for you. All right, everybody, just a heads up, the 37th Annual Greater Cincinnati Numismatic Exposition will be held Friday, July 17th, and Saturday, July 18th, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, they are running an early bird special Thursday, July 16th, from 3 to 7 for $40. That's an excellent price. Now, that is at the Sharonville Convention Center, so if you'd like to meet CoinOp, you want to go out to a coin show, this would be an excellent opportunity we will be there. We, Robert Lawson, Florida myself, we will be out there. So make your reservations now. Start booking Friday, July 17th and Saturday, July 18th, the 37th annual Greater Cincinnati Numismatic Exposition. Well, there you go. Definitely hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave us a comment. Let me know out of these double dies that you saw, which one was your favorite? Out of all of these ones, which one do you just find to be the most beautiful and attractive of these double dies? Let me know down in the comments what your opinion is. We'll try to get back to you. And again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button. And while you are at it, click on the notification bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun. It's just fabulous. It is fantastic. This is one that you can see by the naked eye, and that is a smoke detector. <laughs>